Hello friends, in this lecture we will be discussing network model. Earlier we discussed that we have to make the network efficient. To make the network efficient we should know in the network what is that we are going to transmit, what is the problem of the data, how these data are represented and how the devices are interconnected. These two topics we discussed in lecture 3. After knowing how the devices are interconnected, we should know which rules are to be followed to transfer the data. Because transferring a data from one device to other device in a network is a complicated process. So to do these things, we have to follow certain rules. So we will be discussing which rules are to be followed to transfer the data. Okay, let us see what is the network model. Network model is the standardized combination of hardware and software to send data from one location to the other location. Earlier classes we discussed uh, the need of standard in communication network. So here we will be discussing what is the standardized com models we use, standardized combination of hardware and software we should use so that the communication between one computer to other computer in a network will be smooth. So there are two dominating standard models are there. One is the OSI reference model. The second model is the TCP IP protocol suit. So this model is in fact used. But to understand this TCP IP protocol, it will be convenient to understand OSI reference model. So that is why the, though OSI reference model is not used, it is better to understand fast OSI reference model. And with respect to that, we can understand TCP IP very well. So both of them, both the models use protocol layering. What is that layering model? To understand the layering model, let us consider an example. So C is CEO of Intel sitting in uh, Bangalore. And C, I, I think presently uh, Nibriti Rai is the CEO of Bangalore Intel. And there is one more company is Reliance Digital whose uh, CEO is Brain Bade who is in Mumbai. CEO of Intel from Bangalore want to send a letter to CEO of Reliance to Bombay. This is a hard copy, not uh, email. So this letter, when he, he want to send this letter, how Intel CEO will send to in this Reliance CEO? One option is, Nibriti Rai will write the letter, carry it to Bombay and give it to Reliance CEO. The other option possible is, Write the letter and send it through courier. Please note that our objective is to send the hard copy, not the soft copy, right? So which option is preferable? Definitely we'll say through courier. Now we'll see how CEO of Intel will send the letter to CEO of Reliance. So now the CEO of Intel want to write the letter. So what she will do, she will call her uh, Steno, office assistant. And dictate the letter to her and ask her to send to Mr. X. So Mr. X is uh, CEO of Reliance. Now the Steno will what he will do. Steno will type the letter, put it into the envelope, write the address, and give it to the courier persons because courier person nowadays are coming to the office. So he will hand over to the courier person. He will not go to Mumbai. Okay. Now the courier person will. Uh, put get the letter from uh, intel office and then go to his uh, courier office let us be DT, dtdc courier office courier people will put the letter in the packet which will go to mumbai the courier person also will not go to mumbai now the courier person of dtdc will go to reliance office and he will not go directly to ceo he will give it to the office maybe the office assistant of uh, reliance ceo the letter will be taken by the Steno and opened and handed over to CEO. So now Steno will receive the letter and will understand that, oh, this is a letter to our boss. So then what see he this Steno will do? He will hand over the letter to our uh, Reliance CEO. So Mr. X will get the letter and read the thickness reactions. So the transferring of a letter from Intel Bangalore 
to Reliance Mumbai has done very smoothly. The job of sending the letter by Nibriti Rai is become very simple. She only has to call her uh, office assistant and tell the content and to whom it is to be sent. It will take hardly two three minutes, maximum five minutes, right? And all other jobs are taken care by the other people. So we can say that. we can say that these jobs are done by three layers the ceo is just telling what is to be done then the second layer is the steno who whose job is to whose uh, responsibility is to write the letter put uh, select which paper on which it is to be printed then put into envelope write address on the envelope then hand over to the courier person the courier person responsibility is to take the letter from the from the bangalore office intel office and put into the bag which is going to mumbai and send it right so you can see here the functionality the work of each individual layer is defined so layer to person the steno his his responsibility is to write the content put into the envelope and sent so the layer 3 ceo will not bother about whether he will uh, the steno will be using a uh, blue color envelope yellow color envelope those things he will not bother his job will be take those jobs will be taken care by say layer 2 so advantage of layering is complex problem is broken into smaller manageable pieces and implementation details are hidden how to do a specific job that is the responsibility of that specific layer upper layers takes the service provided by the lower layer so the courier person whether he is coming by car or uh, bike or scooter that is no matter related to the ceo or not the, to the steno right okay so you understood what is the meaning of layering concepts so in similarly in osi reference model also there are seven layers are there each layer is having some specific functions so what are those layers physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and application layers so these are the seven layers using which transfer of data from one computer to the other computer across internet can take place and each layer has to do a specific job let us see how data passes from one computer to the other net other computer using various layers here one person is sitting using a computer he has written a mail let us say so that mail he want to send to another destination present this side other side so what it will do he will send the letter so the letter is a d7 data from the whatever this person is sending is d7 along with that the h7 the application layer will be adding some header that h7 plus d7 combination will be treated as d6 data 6 for the presentation layer presentation layer also add header h6 then it will come to the next layer that is the session layer session layer will add header h5 the next layer is the net transport layer transport layer will add h4 header 5 4 then d3 is the data which is d4 plus h4 that combination is the data for the third layer the network layer network layer also add header h3 then it will be coming to the data link layer data link layer will add header as well as tailor for framing purpose we will discuss detail later on now it will be given to the physical layer physical layer will convert this all these things and add some extra uh, bits and then it will be transmitting through the network depending on the medium transmission medium so if it is a transmission medium is uh, wireless it will be converting into electromagnetic signal if it is optical fiber it will convert into optical signal and so on so at the reverse side a similar approach will be done every layer will 
and take the data understand what is the meaning of header and then give it to the next stage remove those header part and give it to the next stage similarly this is the second one is the data link layer it will understand header and teller give it to the next stage and so on and finally the receiver will receive the data so for data communication in each layer a predefined series of jobs are performed called the process so each layer will perform some process using the header if a process on a specific layer at one end is communicating to a process on the same layer at the other end it is called as the peer to peer process let us see sixth layer at the source is communicating to the sixth layer at the destination and this communication is called as the peer to peer process okay we discussed this thing related to osi reference model we'll see what is the tcp ip model in fact the tcp ip model also performs all these jobs only thing is that it combines some of the functionality and given the name as a single layer let us see so here in the tcp ip we will have a physical layer we will have a data link layer we will have a network layer we will have a transport layer but this three layers presentation application session this three are combined to give the name as application layer okay so all the functionality whatever it done is the using wsi reference model also done in tcp ip only thing is that some of the functionality are combined and they that is called as the tcp ip model in the coming classes we will be discussing regarding each of these uh, layers in brief and then throughout the course we will be discussing in detail each of these layers if you have any queries please write in the comment box or if you have suggestions also please write in the comment box we will try to take care Thank you very much.